Now to a place so eerily beautiful it looks like something out of another world. Deep in the waters off the Florida Keys, one famous explorer has spent nearly a year of her life underwater studying the wonder of the coral reefs there. My co-anchor Bill Weir met her 60 feet underwater to see for himself the paradise that we all stand to lose. She's out there somewhere. Under there somewhere. A woman known as her deepness. And when one of the most respected ocean scientists alive arranges for an urgent meeting at the bottom of the Caribbean, you go. With pounding pulse, we drop beneath the surface chop into that serene blue, flip her past the tarpon and jacks, those darting bursts of clown bright color, to our interview spot 62 feet below the surface. For 20 years, the reef base known as Aquarius has bubbled off the Florida Keys, housing scientists of every stripe. Last time I was down here, NASA astronauts were using it to simulate life on the moon. But this one-of-a-kind place is endangered now, doomed by the federal budget acts. And here to try to save it is the former head of NOAA, National Geographic Explorer in Residence, and unofficial Sturgeon General, Sylvia Earle. Great, great to see you again. Great to see you too. Real honor. Thanks for having me in. Welcome aboard. Do you ever forget that you're 60 feet deep when you well, come you down? Well, it's, it's easy to forget that you don't, that you're not a sea creature. It's just so peaceful. Yeah. Until somebody makes a meal of somebody else. Right. <laughs> She has spent almost an entire year of her storied life underwater, over 6,000 hours, climbing into massive suits, piloting tiny subs, diving deeper and longer than any woman and most men ever. She took her first breath of compressed air 60 years ago. And when Harvard launched a two-week underwater project in the 60s, she was among the first in line. The head of the program, he said, well, Half the fish are female. I guess we can put up <laughs> with a few women. And they couldn't just leave it alone. No, we were the aqua babes. Yeah. We were the aqua chicks. We were the aqua bells. And they even got this great name, the aqua naughties. She is 77 now, still thirsty for understanding, still giddy that Aquarius lets her stay out on the reef for four, five, even eight hours a day without worrying about decompression sickness. It's so good that you're here. She originally fell in love with ocean plant life, the microscopic algae responsible for every fifth breath you take. But over the years, her wonder has been steadily replaced with worry. Once vast pockets of thriving, teeming life are getting increasingly hard to find. A warming planet is changing the acid levels in the sea, killing coral reefs. Pesticides running down the Mississippi and the deep water horizon disaster have stressed the Gulf of Mexico in unprecedented ways about Goliath groupers and some other species, but I haven't seen even one lobster. I've been here almost a week, not even one lobster. And Earl is determined to sound the alarm on the kind of rampant overfishing that has driven some species to the brink. Whole ecosystems that are destroyed when trolls scrape the ocean floor. You can imagine um, a farmer taking apples by mowing down the apple orchard. That's what we're doing to the ocean. Being in this setting with you and, and your passions, this is like asking a cat lover, do you eat cat? But do you eat fish? <laughs> Have you ever eaten fish? Yes, I've done more than my share. I mean, I grew up in a family that loves seafood. Yeah. But I can't do it anymore because of what I know. She's concerned about all the pesticides and mercury floating out here. One reason she says ocean study is more vital than ever. But research money is drying up. Florida International University scraped together enough to save Aquarius for now, but there are no long-term guarantees. Every minute, the federal government spends between six and eight million dollars every minute. So a half a minute. Let's have a half a minute <laughs> of the federal budget. I just want to thank you for this experience. I'm able to tell my grandkids that I actually went diving with Sylvia Earle. And I Take care. Godspeed.